Sexual offence charges are extremely serious. As soon as you hear about an allegation, you should talk to a defence lawyer. If you're found guilty of rape, you'll almost always receive a substantial jail term. The maximum penalty for rape is 25 years imprisonment. The essence of a charge of rape is the sexual penetration of another person without their consent. To prove a rape charge, the prosecution have to show that there was an act of sexual penetration and also that that act was intentional and happened without the consent of the complainant. The prosecution must also prove that the accused was aware that the person was not consenting, that they might not have been consenting, or didn't think about whether they were consenting. Consent in itself is a very complex issue. The main defences to a rape charge are either it didn't occur, or it occurred but there was actual consent to the charge. The real art in preparation of a rape trial is the preparation itself. It's the going into the detail of the case and finding everything that can be found that assists your client's case. It's very important to get hold of every document that you can. You don't win a rape trial by saying to somebody, it didn't happen. You win a rape trial by showing that the surrounding circumstances show the person is a liar. I had one case where the allegation was that an offence had occurred, but the actual date was fairly unspecific and it was an, over a period of a year. And so we had to recreate a person's life for a year. To do that, we obtained the phone tower records, their work records, their bank records, and were able to make spreadsheets that showed what they were doing on any particular day. There was one day that we weren't able to establish what he had been doing. He said he had been at the beach and he had a photo of himself and his kids at the beach, uh, but it didn't have a timestamp on it. But in the background, there was a little tug and so we expanded the photo, we got the registration of the tug, and we subpoenaed the tug's records. And those showed that that tug had only ever passed that beach on one day in that year. And so we were able to cross that date off. And by the end of this process, we were able to show that the, there was no day that the client could have done what was alleged against him, and he was acquitted at his trial. Where an allegation is just one person saying something and the other person denying it, it's that level of detail that wins cases. Rape is a strictly indictable charge, which means it has to be heard in the county court. If it's been contested at trial, it has to be heard before a jury. Our firm has run a large number of rape cases before juries and we've won many of them. If there is an allegation against you or someone you love, get on the phone, give us a call, and we'll discuss it with you.